Today, MTD CNC have travelled to Herco in High Wycombe. Today is the grand opening of their new facility here, 24,000 square foot, as opposed to their previous one, which was just 13. Uh, now, the idea of this next few minutes is just to look at the different styles of five-axis machines that Herco now offer. Uh, I'm with Geo here, and we're going to look at some of the features and the reasons why you might buy a specific model. Now, let's look at this first one here, Geo, the VMX30 UHSI, one of their most popular machines. Why do you think that is? The reason being, Paul, is, is cost for product as well as all of the features that you get with this. This is more of a dedicated machine. So if you were an end user and you knew the size of the family of parts that you were going to manufacture, this is perfect for that fifth axis application. This model actually and configuration comes in different sizes also. So you can plan um, to do the work that you want on this machine and for higher volume work family of parts this is perfect do you think when you look at it it's quite compact in inside when the table is tipped this way which we've started to do here you then have got quite a big z-axis haven't you so where if you look at it with the table up you might think the z-axis is short but actually your working envelope for such a small machine isn't isn't as small as the part there would would show it's deceiving paul so really when you're doing fifth axis work 90 percent of the time your fifth axis table is at 90 degree plane so you've got more z-stroke so and you'll be tilting the part around um, the z-axis that way and then occasionally you'll be tipping the part up to get your angular features so yeah you've got all, uh, enough capacity to do the majority of fifth axis work that you would like to do but nevertheless you know you've got a capacity on this particular type of configuration because between of the between the trunnion so you've got to look at this machine and think right if I've got a family of parts of this size, this is the biggest fifth axis part that I'm going to do, and it fits within the envelope of this machine, brilliant. Then it'd be the, the, possibly the option because of the, the cost for the machine as well. And, and, and that's the reason, you know, uh, most people do when they buy a machine have a specific requirement, so that might be why that is one of their fastest selling five axis. That does come, I should say as well, with uh, an 18,000 HSK spindle or a 12,000 RPM spindle. Now, I really like this uh, configuration of five axis here. One of the things that I like about this style is the access. Now, I know that doesn't affect how the machine performs. It doesn't affect the finished component but what it does do is it, 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 it makes it easier for the operator and that is so important in today's market isn't it? I think this machine really, it, you've hit the nail on the head really in regards to accessibility. I think that with Erco machines, moving on from the first configuration where you'd like to think that whoever's buying that machine knows the kind of work that's going to be going on to it. If I was Mr End User and I was looking to buy this machine, I'd be thinking to myself, I don't really know what's coming through the door from one day to another. I need a fifth axis machine that's versatile. Um, I could be doing a one-off one day, a five-off the next day. I need something that's versatile, that's got large Z strokes, large Y strokes, large, large X axis strokes, large strokes. So maybe I, I might want to put a large fifth axis component on there and one day, and then the next day I might want to put a pyramid on there and mill three fifth axis components all at once. So this gives you that versatility. And you've obviously got the, the table here as well which is um, sometimes you'll see these sort of knuckle style tables and they won't have this support here which means you you know you don't have support from this side and support from that side which obviously gives you more more stability also with the x-axis here you're moving on on the column which is slightly different to the previous configuration where the tables moving so your machining area is almost like a fixed point isn't it so more weight can be put onto this table as opposed to or you'd like to think the inertia of moving on an x-axis is 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 more than if you just had a fixed part on here and also you've got three different components on here and loading big points one thing to make uh, to point out as well which is x extremely important is say for example you were doing a lot of one-off work on this machine like you mentioned when we first come onto the machine Paul the accessibility is brilliant for setting for the operator being able to set the part really being involved with the machine and the actual control turns around with the machine as well but we, we can't forget to mention Herco's own software which simplifies the programming of fifth axis parts so effectively you send it the model and it'll write the program and it will calculate each five faces 
and the depth, etc. It just totally simplifies it. So you don't really need a CAD CAM package. You can actually just program directly into this control, which is it's priceless for some end users. I know they've worked very hard on that, and that's the Max 5 control double screen, touch screen um, system. Now, this machine, it's still very early in the day here at Herco this morning. Uh, Thanks, gentlemen. It's uh, still very early in the day here at Herco, but we want to now look at this style, which, again, I, I, I think as we move up, you, we, I'm as impressed as, as I look at each one, but things stand out to me straight away as to advantages with the different setups. Now, here, for example, with this head and the integrated table, I look at this machine and think, I have got a standard three-axis machining center here where I can load my, uh, you know, a quantity of batch components. I can load a, a two large a, a large plate, I can do all of these different things, as well as then going, oh, and there's a five axis job, I can attack that as well. Um, I think for me, this is as flexible as you can get with a, a five axis solution. I totally agree with you, but you could also use it as like a horizontal as well. So you could effectively put a tombstone on the uh, on, on the rotating table that's in the, it mounted in the middle of the machine bed. You imagine a tombstone on there. You can tilt your head at 90 degrees and use it as like a horizontal machine. So you could accommodate for 10, 20 parts per face of the tombstone. But then if you add a particular component on that tombstone that also required a fifth axis feature, you can also hit that feature with the tilting head. You get ultimate flexibility. If you've got the floor space and you don't know what's coming through the door and you want to do fifth axis work, three axis work, whatever, whatever you want, what a great solution. Full five axis simultaneous as well with this. And like Gio said, I think the angles, full five face machining as well as full five axis machining is available with a big, big working envelope. Um, that hopefully is a quick, quick overview of three different styles of Herco five axis machines that are available to come and view here at their fabulous new facility and also available from stock. Uh, contact the guys here at Herco at herco.co.uk or come and knock on the door. Come down here to uh, High Wycombe to this fantastic new place.